Simon, it wasn't the prettiest of things uh, to watch this evening, but Egypt uh, did the job. The Egyptian fortress uh, resisting every attempt by the Cameroonian battering ram to smash it down. That's uh, probably the best way to put it, Selena, because time and time again, the Cameroon uh, strikers had no way through a tight and solid defence. We spoke in the build-up to the game when we previewed this match that it would be a case of seeing whether or not Egypt could maintain this compact unit that has seen them reach uh, the semi-finals and now the final and they won the challenge. Carlos Quiros uh, winning his tactical bat uh, battle with Conceição and a Cameroonian side that they will be dis bitterly disappointed that they weren't able to inject more pace, a little bit more threat in their attack because they started the game brightly. As you mentioned, uh, they hit the crossbar in the first 15 minutes. Uh, Vincent Abubakar had a half chance. Uh, Zambo Anguisa had a half chance himself, but they were just unable to get the final touch uh, on the ball on what was a really poor pitch, which didn't help any attacking football because the players were consistently uh, losing their feet. But for Egypt, it is an opportunity now to win and extend uh, their winning record in the Africa Cup of Nations to eight titles. And they'll be facing a Senegal side that has never won it. And of course, it's also a duel possibly between the two best players in the world at the moment, teammates, uh, brothers in arms for Liverpool but certainly very much uh, opponents on the night on Sunday here at the Alembe Stadium for this mouth-watering final to come between the Lions of Taranga and the Pharaohs. Indeed, uh, lots to be looking forward to. And uh, just a quick mention for that very heroic performance from uh, the keeper Gabaski who uh, played a key role in Egypt's uh, victory this evening. Absolutely sensational performance in the penalty shootout by Gabaski. Uh, stopped uh, the very tame effort by uh, Mukudi Satachen's man with a dreadful penalty, one of the worst we've seen for a long, long time. It was then an excellent save, however, uh, from James Lair Siliki's penalty uh, to, to make it, uh, to put Egypt in, in that 3-1 position and then Clinton Engie's uh, effort, which went over the crossbar, just uh, the cherry on the cake for the Egyptians. Uh, Gabalski had very little to do uh, during the game, but he's a keeper that's really responded when he needed to for the Pharaohs. Let's not forget the penalty he saved uh, on Eric Abayi in the last 16 and in that tie which Egypt took to extra time. Uh, so a few saves as well against Morocco in the quarterfinals. But uh, in the absence of El Shanawi, who's usually Egypt's number one, then the Pharaoh's substitute goalkeeper is the hero once again for his side. And he will be, of course, one to watch because the confidence taking that into uh, the uh, final match uh, will be huge for Egypt, even though, and this is important, Selena, Egypt will have played 90 extra minutes. So the equivalent of a full extra game going into the final. And we can't discount discount how important that could be going forwards. Of course, and we'll be touching more on that uh, final that we have to look forward to uh, later on in the show with you, Simon. Um, back to you shortly.